Hey everyone, welcome back to Talking Sense. I'm Ben. It's been a really hot week this week, uh, so I've been wearing loads of really dull, sheer perfumes. Oh, not dull, but you know, sheer perfumes that don't really do a lot. Basically just trying not to choke everyone out. So, you know, I figured it's Sunday evening. It's, it's a really cool evening. Um, it's about time for some Sunday sample. So let's go. So yeah, it's been really hot this week. Uh, finally, summer's decided to kick in down here in Brighton. So I've just been wearing loads of like really quite sheer stuff. So just trying my best not to choke everyone out around me. Um, just and, and to be honest, myself, I don't really like wearing like perfume in the kind of high heat. Really, it, it, it kind of I, I I get I. I I guess I'm quite sensitive to that whole kind of oppressive vibe. So as soon as it gets hot, I generally tend to go for the things which are just like absolutely non-existent, um, like colognes and and flat, like, even like perfume waters and things like that. But you know, it's Sunday, so why not do this? It's about time. I feel like I need to smell something beast and good. So let's try a sample and see what we're gonna get. Like I say, I have no idea. There is still about say it's all as always about 50% niche 50% designer what are we going to get got something got something what is it oh, okay it's a designer this is cool because I haven't done a designer for ages um, on this channel um, or you know as, as a Sunday sample diesel only the brave street so it's quite a new one. This one came from my pick and mix, I think, um, that I got last month from, I don't know, Feel Unique, is it? I can't remember. But um, yeah, I have no idea. I, I have no idea about this at all. Um, it came in a little cardboard thing. I just took it off and chucked it straight in here. Didn't look at the notes. I have no idea. Does it, does it tell you? No, there's loads of writing, but nothing actually useful. So yeah, Diesel, only the Brave Street. Let's give it a crack. Oh, okay. I made that face, but it's not that bad. It's got, it had this like, straight off the bat, it had this like, uh, it's something I'm smelling a lot recently in, in like new modern designers, this kind of sweet kind of bubblegum kind of opening um, that's, that smells a bit plasticky. I smelled it in East Saint Laurent Y was a really big one. Um, and it gave me that, uh, if anyone remembers that, that's that, um, I mean, I doubt anyone does actually remember that, that video that I made, um, with that review of, of Eve Center on Y, but I said it had that kind of greasy chip packet feel and, 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 and it's something that I've smelt in a few designers recently and this one's got it as well, where it's this like, almost like quite greasy bubblegum chippy kind of feel to it. Um, it's, it's less of a smell and more of a textural thing. Um, I don't know what it is. I assume it's an aroma chemical that's like all the rage these days. Um, but it, it's not. It's not anything that I like particularly. But but that's sort of fading now. That was just off that, like straight off the top. So, but otherwise, this feels quite nondescript actually. But I mean, it's a very soft aroma chemical, so it, it makes it feel kind of it's a bit like it reminds me a little bit of cashmeran but it smells cheaper like cashmeran I actually is is fairly cheap for an aroma chemical but um I, I feel like it doesn't necessarily always smell cheap but this aroma chemical whatever it is it, it might be like is it like silver amber or something like that um I can't remember but it's it's this kind of same sort of thing but it, it feels a little cheaper to me um I've got to say straight off the bat I can't see this doing well. It's not like where, as I remember when I did again, like just calling me back to East Saint Laurent Y. When I when I remember doing that one, I remember the opening was quite something nice. Um, I didn't really like the end of the frag, but I like the opening. I do so I don't like the opening at all. Um, or it's not I don't like it, but it really feels like it's nothing. Like I don't get what its purpose is yet. It's so nondescript. It's really, um, it's just nothing here. It's, 
just this weird kind of bubblegummy candied sort of tangerine sort of feel um on top of a quite kind of sweet sort of tonkery sort of thing um that's all a bit aroma chemically and 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 very much like i i got nothing against aroma chemicals don't get me wrong um I'm not one of those people that get you know sit here saying like oh aroma chemicals not having that in my perfume I, especially to the fact that I know that the aroma chemicals in every goddamn perfume anyway um, so I'm not one of those people but it smells like an abundance of, of just using like one aroma chemical it's one of those kind of um, it's one of those perfumes that's sort of fall and foul to just using like 40% of one aroma chemical or something and just thinking they can get away with it because it, 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 it feels like that's the bulk of it is this kind of nondescript aroma chemical that's sort of bubblegummy sweet, a little bit sort of velvety, and I suppose you could say it's a touch woody and a touch incensey, but that would be almost pushing it. Like that, it, it, it it's you've got to kind of imagine that to a certain degree. It's very, um, it's almost nothing there. So mainly, it's this weird kind of sweet uh bubblegummy kind of thing like soft bubblegummy um sort of vibe with this kind of say like hints of the wood and the incense but really when i say hints say it's, it's like a su suggestion of those rather than actually being there it's not nice i, I don't i'm not liking this at all um I don't think it's a scrubber or anything like that. It's not ugly fragrance. It's it's not a fragrance that turns my stomach or or makes me feel like it's ugly. But it's it's just not doing anything. Like I'm bored of it already. And it's also very close to your skin. I'll spray a bit more. It's, it's very um close. It's not it's not projecting very much. It's perhaps there's a cassie in there or something. Um it's sort of stinging my eyes a little bit. That might just be because I'm tired. Because <laughs> I can't be doing that, surely. This is... I don't know, but yeah, it could be a Cassie in there. Overall, I would say it's this bubblegummy kind of nondescript bubblegummy sweetness. You know what, bugger it. Normally, when I do these Sunday samples, I go away and then I wear it. And then I, when I come back, I then look up the notes and that. So basically, I spend the whole day wearing it um, to try and kind of get the grips of what the notes are myself before because otherwise I feel like if you read the notes beforehand you kind of tend to imagine them a bit um so I, I try not to do that with the Sunday samples normally I say I just wear it myself and then I check the notes at the end like before I make the second part of the video but you know what bugger it I, I want to look this up because I really can't see as there's anything in here okay that's weird that's not at all what I am smelling basil apple bergamot in the top licorice cardamom in the mid and cedar vetiver and vanilla in the base as new style hip-hop dancers we represent street culture the twins say but our art is more than just dance when we dance we go beyond our limits to become the best the street taught us to be good with others but hard on ourselves yeah boy okay this is what it says about it right Diesel Only the Brave Street begins with herbal, citrusy and fresh notes, combined with an aromatic apple, basil and bergamot. The determination and artistic touch <laughs> are reflected in the blend of licorice and cardamom that form a spicy heart, supported by an elegant woody alliance of cedar and vetiver. Vanilla provides softness and sensuality, making the woody trace calm and seductive. What a load of bollocks. I don't smell any of this. I, I, I can't smell almost anything. I mean, the vanilla, I would say, is so soft that it's like a tonka. Um, you know, in that, not that there's anything wrong with a tonka at all, but you know, um, you tend to imagine like vanilla's is quite big and quite a pungent, powerful smell, right? Whereas tonka is that kind of, it's often a little woodier and a little bit more toned down sort of vanilla. It's almost like vanilla light in many ways I mean it's got other facets as well like the kind of the kind of chocolatey sides to it and the more sort of woody sides to it sometimes but you 
generally tend to when when I smell like um, a vanilla that's this low, um, I tend to think that's possibly a tonka or something that's going to come out later. Um, Whereas this is supposedly, this is just vanilla. Um, I mean, if this is vanilla, this is the crappiest vanilla I've ever smelled. It's literally like, um, it, it isn't, it's almost not there. Wait, so Fragrantica says it's got hedione, right? And I know that hedione is a, a chemical, but I've got hedione. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. I can see where that's coming from. But this, to be honest, I smell. I like. I prefer the smell of this by itself than this, which is a problem for them. I would say it's not like ISO E or anything like that, where you can not necessarily get away with using it by itself. But look at things like um, Terre Demes and Encre Noir, where they do use like huge amounts. Oh, hello, cat. What do you think of this? These are only the brave street. Do you feel like it's proper street, mate? Go on, give it a sniff. Don't rub your face on it, because then you'll smell like it as well, and it's rank. See, this is the sort of thing that fucks me off, to be honest, because I don't want to be like a niche snob. And although I like perfume, I like any perfume. I mean, hopefully, from watching my channel, I'd, I've, I've done a few niche recently, but, you know, things like, in reviewing like Eau de Gaga and things like that. I hope you can see that. I, I don't have that kind of snobbery. Um, if something smells good, I don't, I don't care the brand, the make. I mean, I am a bit of a nerd about collecting certain brands, but I don't let that come into... I mean, I have perfumes that I don't like, but I've bought because of the brand, if you like. They're generally cheap. Um, but I wouldn't... If I was reviewing it, I would point that out still that it smells like shite you know um or whatever so i don't have like allegiances or, or snobbery or anything like that or i try not to and i try to wear anything but it's shit like this where i end up feeling like i'm coming across like a niche snob just so nondescript and shit and you think oh what can i say that's good about this you know like can i retrieve this from the trash bin that, it, that it, it's sitting in like can I say something nice about it so that I don't sound like I'm just ragging on it because it's a designer? Which I'm not, because it's not that it's a designer. There's hundreds of designers, even in this box. I mean, this is my Sunday sample box. I don't want to give things away, but there are designers in here that I'd be more than happy. This one I'm quite interested in trying at some point. Um, Emporio Armani, Strong With You. I've heard really good things about that. Um, Prada, Lom, I like a lot of Prada fragrances. Um, I like Bulgari fragrances a lot of the time, although that man wood was proper crap that I reviewed. You know, so it's not like I'm trying to be like a niche snob, but you just smell these new releases that are coming out, designers. Like, like, like in the last sort of few months, I've reviewed Yves Saint Laurent Y, this one, um, and man wood, that I, like Bulgari man wood that I really remember. And all three were basically shit so i mean what is going on and it's nothing to do with taste or or you know developing nose or any, any of that crap i just feel like at the moment designers are just pumping out shit shit after shit and it's like shit like this like like honestly it's a good call actually on fragrantica saying that this smells a lot like hedione because it does, and, and it's like I say, this smells better than this, and that's a concern. You know, when a base aroma chemical smells better than what they've mixed it into, that's a problem. And, and uh, you know, I know it's only D's one in the Brave Street, but Yves Saint Laurent Y, I expected a lot more of. Bulgari Man Wood, I would have expected a lot more of. That one was absolute toilet. This isn't... You know, this is wearable. There's a slight aqua, like, sort of summery aqua kind of thing that I can... Uh, I can see people enjoying this. It's quite fresh, it's quite lively, but it's got that vanilla. But at the same time, it's really nothing. Like, I feel like this is the sort of thing that's very safe if you want to wear a perfume, but you don't really want to wear a perfume almost, because it's almost not there. It smells a bit like... You just kind of 
maybe you had a shower four or five hours ago and and you're kind of just giving off a bit of a kind of you know cheap herbal essence like residue it's it's really not i wouldn't call this a perfume you know it doesn't have any sillage or kind of reach or longevity like i mean i could spray this whole entire like two mil or whatever it is and i, I don't think it would perform okay so let's try and put this into some sort of context like let's try and break this down right cardamom if there is anything in here it's weak and crap licorice uh yeah i can i can't really smell it but i think that's probably what is giving it that kind of sweet slightly plasticky feel i think that's probably what they're going for heady own loads of it now i've smelt this like by itself next to it loads of it vanilla yeah okay the vanilla's coming out but it's not a nice vanilla it's, it's very synthetic doesn't smell big doesn't smell round doesn't smell soft doesn't smell attractive doesn't smell overly creamy or anything like that it smells sweet and plasticky vetiver <laughs> yeah okay if this has vetiver in it then my head is made out of cedar absolute bullshit i'll tell you what it really is cheap synthetic bubblegum nonsense on top of crap watery absolutely non-existent vanilla shunk buy that in a bottle absolute toilet i don't even see a point in doing a part two to this video it's not going nowhere diesel only the brave don't bother